Salt and pepper squid. Okay, this is a Chinese restaurant classic, but we're gonna make a version that's super light, super fragrant with Sichuan peppercorns. You guys are gonna love it. We're gonna start with the salt and pepper mix, and I'm gonna make one that's a little extra special. I'm gonna start with some black peppercorns, and you can just leave it with the black peppercorns, but you know, we're gonna be a little extra today. I'm gonna to add some Szechuan peppercorns. These guys have this amazing, almost citrusy kind of fragrance, and they give you a kind of numbing sensation on your palate. I just love them. And I'm dry roasting these spices so we can release a little more of their flavors and aromas. Mm, this Szechuan peppercorn smells so good. Once you can see that little bit of smoke and you can smell the peppercorns, then it's time to take them off. And now add in your salt. And then you want to grind this to a very fine powder. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. And this stuff is like magic. Sprinkle it on anything where you want a bit of flavor and a bit of salt. Let's talk about the squid. Now, my preference is to buy the whole squid and clean it myself because I can tell how fresh it is, I can smell it. It should just smell of the ocean, not have a really strong smell. Uh, but if you prefer to buy your own squid tubes, you could do that already cleaned and just slice them up. Uh, if you'd like to do it this way or my way, you can have a look on my YouTube channel. I have a video just for you on how to clean and prepare your squid. It, it's really easy, I promise. So I've got my squid pieces here here. I've got a bit of a mixture. I've got pieces that I've scored to get that really cute little diamond pattern when they curl up in the oil. I've got some strips. I've got some little tentacles. I like the tentacles. They're my favorite bits. Okay, now let's get out our magical salt and pepper mix that we've made and sprinkle that generously all over our pieces here. Make sure you flip them over, get on all the sides. And this is one of my key tips. Even though I'm going to be dipping these in flour, a lot of recipes will tell you to season the flour, but you don't get enough seasoning on the actual squid when you do that. So I like to season these before they go in the flour. So flour, obviously that's the next step. Uh, so we want some plain flour and some rice flour. So I like a mixture because the rice flour kind of lightens everything up and I find it makes things a little crispier, which is what you want. You could also use corn flour or some people call it corn starch instead of the rice flour. Now take a few pieces at a time, pop them into your flour, just dust off any excess. Okay, and get those into the hot oil. And just give those a bit of a stir, make sure they're not sticking together. And once they're just a touch golden and all crispy and crunchy, drain them on some paper towel. And in we go with the next slot. But we're not finished yet. You could totally serve these as they are with a really nice dipping sauce, but I'm gonna take this one step further with some extra flavor. So into a hot wok, just add a little bit of oil, just a smidgen. I don't want this to end up too oily. Now add in some garlic, some chili, and a little bit of spring onion. Just give that a mix. Just quickly, and before that garlic even starts to color too much, I wanna get my squid straight in there. And now a little extra sprinkling of our salt and pepper mix. Ah, oh, and look at that, the color, fragrance. I tell you what, I wish you guys could smell this right now. And that's it, ready to go. Oh, so good. Now just a little extra sprinkling of spring onion. And why not just a little bit of extra salt and pepper? And then just a little wedge of lime. Oh, perfection. And now the all important taste test. Mmm, so good. Guys, this really is the ultimate salt and pepper squid. Oh. Can't wait for you to try it.
If you've got any comments or questions about this video, put them down below. I try to get back to as many people as possible. I love hearing from you guys. And if you liked my video, hit the subscribe button and also that little bell button because that'll make sure you get a notification every time there's something delicious that pops up on my channel. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.